You mentioned all the major cities are controlled by the left. And I grew up in Michigan. I'm from a little town of, called Muskegon, Michigan, across the state from Detroit, Michigan. So when we'd go to the big city of Detroit, it was a big thing. I saw my first motion picture, by the way, in the wicked city of Detroit, <laughs> Michigan. But Detroit at that point when I was a little boy was beautiful buildings, beautiful theaters, beautiful sure. uh, factories even, the, really great architecture. And today, Detroit looks like a bomb hit it. That's exactly right. Many bombs. Many bombs, yeah. yeah. They've destroyed Detroit. And, and you can date it from 1961. 1961, Detroit had the richest per capita population in the country. It was the industrial jewel of the United States. That's when uh, a Democrat mayor was elected. Mm -hmm. And um, over the next, whatever it is, 30 or 40 years, Detroit went into such a decline, it lost two-thirds of its population. Um, and it, it's, it's a bombed-out city. Um, and its poverty rates are off the charts. It's 100% controlled by the Democratic Party. But every killing field in America, Chicago, St. Louis, Chicago. St. I, that's, Louis, Ferguson. That's just up the lake from my hometown. Yes. And Chicago... I loved Chicago. I go there and see the great department stores when I was a little boy in the in the L there, you know, and all. Oh, yeah. And today, do you know the population of Chicago is is going down instead of up? Of course. Right now. It's too dangerous. People yeah. are leaving yeah, Chicago. You can get killed in Chicago sooner than you get killed in Iraq. Um, but it's not just Chicago, it's St. Louis. Ferguson, Ferguson, St. Louis, Baltimore. Mm -hmm. These are all cities that are 100% controlled by the Democratic Party and have been for 50 to 100 years. Yeah. And that, look, uh, the catch and release policies. Dwayne Wade's aunt, beautiful mother of four children, was killed by two uh, felons who shouldn't have been on the street, but the Democrats have the catch and release policy. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have gun control, so law-abiding citizens in the inner city can't get guns to defend themselves. I mean, they don't have secret service. If you were a welfare mother in Detroit, the only protection you would have is what you can put in your night table drawer, and they can't get it. When we have cities where you can run and hide and you can commit a crime... You can be a murderer, and you can have safe haven. Sanctuary cities. Yeah. Is that, how do you explain that? The Sanctuary Cities movement was created by the ACLU, which is a supporter of terrorists. It's an organization that gets the terrorists out of Guantanamo. Um, they devised this uh, after 9-11 to sabotage the Patriot Act. That's, that's what it was designed. Actually, I have several pages in my book, Big Agenda, about this, and I print what it, the Sanctuary City Resolution, and it's like 350 Democrat-controlled cities. And they say you can't cooperate with uh, the Department of Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to look at people's beliefs. It bars local authorities from looking at the beliefs. Look, if you believe um, that Islam is the only religion, uh, that, you should, that everybody else is an infidel, and if your Bible says slay the infidels wherever you find them, and then you have a system of laws, Sharia, which imposes a religious an Islamic religious code that takes away the rights of women, takes away the rights of gays, yeah. takes away the rights actually of everybody who doesn't follow the orthodoxy of the church, you got a dangerous person. That's right. But, the, but we can, why do you think the FBI, every time they get one of these uh, uh, terrorists, uh, they already had him on the files. Why do you think they can't prosecute them or, or do something about it? It's because of this injunction that it's religion and they're protected. They have religious freedom, but Christians 
uh, I don't know, who don't want to serve cakes at, at gay marriages, they don't have right. religious freedom. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm you're, you're telling the truth. I mean, this is the flat-out truth. 